I'm disappointed in you, Anne. Reading novels during geometry class is a misuse of your time. Moreover, it's a deception. Can you ever forgive me, Miss Stacy? I promise I won't even look at Ben Hur for a whole week as penance, not even to see how the chariot race turned out. I'm returning this to you because I know I can trust you not to let it happen again. Oh, Anne, you know I want to encourage you to read literature, to, to develop your imagination. It's a precious gift, but not during geometry class. Miss Stacy, I knew you were sympathetic to the human plight the minute we met. I understand you have a plight of your own. Diana Barry, we were bosom friends, but alas, her mother's refused to even let her speak with me. Yes, I've had to visit from Mrs. Barry. I can understand the social persecution of being an orphan. But it is a terrible injustice to be falsely accused. Sometimes people don't want to hear the truth, Anne. You see, it frightens them, so they put up walls to protect themselves from it. But what we must bear in mind is that all these trials and tribulations that pop up in our lives, well, they serve a very useful purpose. They build character. As long as we can hold on to the lessons we've learned from our mistakes. Remember, you can always start everything afresh tomorrow. That is a tremendous consolation, Miss Stacy. Hmm? Tomorrow is always fresh with no mistakes in it. Well, with no mistakes in it yet. <laughs> as far as the truth goes, don't lose heart. Diana will always be your friend. No matter what anyone accuses you of, in the end, the truth will set you free. The truth will set you free. Mm -hmm.